On this episode of Muscle Cars and Hot Rods, we're going to do something a little special. You see, I figured it seems how the 34 Ford Coupe is coming so near completion, I'd go ahead and compile a lot of the video from, you know, thousands of hours of work and compress it down into a 10 minute YouTube segment so that we could see what it looks like to have a restoration done right before your eyes. So, uh, check it out. Just like to thank everybody who was involved in it. This project came out really nice. I think that uh, you'll enjoy seeing it out at the car shows this year. Okay, here we are at the photo finish restoration department. Right here is our 34 Ford five window coupe. It's an all steel body. These are done and they are looking sweet. I don't know if you can see that. It's got the smooth look, it doesn't show any fasteners. And so we had to weld studs on to the back sides of the fenders. And where those are attached, we're gonna go ahead and lead because lead won't crack under pressure. So I'll just begin by heating up the panel till it's hot enough to accept the solder and I will solder past the point that I want to lead, my lead filler to fit. You see that the uh, panel should get hot enough to just take the lead and stick it to it much like soldering a, a copper pipe in a joint. fender all filed up ready to go now I'll wipe a phosphoric acid over the metal to clean any of the impurities that would have been put on there by the acid in the lead the 34 Ford five window coupe has been blocked and primered for the second time for here I'm starting to put its chassis together we picked up the chassis from perfection powder coating they went ahead and put a satin black finish on it, the rear axle housing, and several other brackets. And I'm gonna put this frame together and make it a rolling chassis. shoot in some sound deadener. This is uh, the company name Second Skin. The product name is Spectrum and it will cut down on no noise and vibration in the passenger compartment. Obviously I'm not shooting while I'm painting for obvious reasons, only got two hands and there's a lot of overspray, but uh, let me run down real quick what we just went through. Um, we started by spot sealing any sand throughs on the car. I put down a couple of coats of gray so I'd have a good ground coat under it because it's a fairly transparent color. And now we're sitting at three coats of color, let me check it out. 
Okay, here we are, all base coated, and we're getting ready for our clear coat. So now we're going to get after clear coat, and then I'm going to give it four coats of clear, and then I'll give you a few shots of it after it's done. Here it is, people. And so far, it's coming out pretty sweet. All the lines look really nice. Clear laid down, just super glossy. Base coat's a nice color. on the 34 Ford project and we're putting in our stainless steel line. Let's see what's happening. Here you can see some of the stainless steel brake line has already been installed in the car. We're all set up in the flaring tool and then all I do to flare it is I'll go ahead and pull this lever. There's the flare. It came out real nice. Okay, and what you can see here is we've got a 90 degree bend and I go ahead and I place a mark on the tube right there and that is three and three quarters inches from the end of the flare. And so now I'll just go ahead and put a mark three and three quarters inches from the end and that and put a 90 in our steel. I put a little bit of lube in my bender and we'll give it a 90. And there it is. So I'll just follow this throughout the line, making my measurements and my bends the whole way down, and uh, we'll pick it up from there. You want to put that on the list for me so I remember? Where's the paper? I think it's over there by the uh, toolkit. Okay, here we are on the 1934 Ford five window coupe up at Gary's house. We're just doing the final fit on the hood and front end. <clears throat> Have nice body gaps going all the way back. And the headlights are now sitting on. There it is. Probably already heard it. So now all that's left is to get it back on the ground and get it final polished out and then we'll be trailering around to the car shows. Hopefully going to hit uh, a few local ones here in Tucson and then head up to the uh, Good Guys Southwest Nationals this year. Hope to see you there. 
Have a good one.